Good morning, Olive friends and family. I hope you're having a wonderful week this week. And uh, I know there's a, some sick bug going around and uh, I, I hope you're, everybody who's had it is healthy again. And those of you who haven't had it are, are staying healthy. Uh, just wanted to check in again today about uh, what's coming up this next Sunday and just to, just to say hi, hope you're doing well. Uh, this next Sunday, we are closing out our uh, sermon series on uh, the Lord's Prayer, where we've been we've been digging through uh, these ideas that the Lord's Prayer takes us to in, in a deeper way, uh, and some of it, honestly, has been uh, for me has been challenging um, as as we take a deep dive and and look at what it means to be a follower of Jesus and and not just claim to believe, but let it impact and engage and and move us in a way that's different than and what the rest of the world and, and other spaces uh, try to lead us to. But this week, we're going to close it out. Uh, we're going to be looking at this last phrase. Um, and and uh, some of you might be thinking, well, we already closed it out. Uh, we, we finished the end of the words that Jesus says. Uh, but many of us, and, and if you're using a lot of your newer translations or, or newer publications of, uh, of translations, they, it leaves this last part out. But so many of us grew up um, with it, uh, with his last part being for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, and we're going to jump into what that, uh, what that means, where it came from, um, and, and, uh, kind of just how it propels us back to, uh, the very beginning, the same kind of thoughts at the very beginning. So, um, where some of the early Greek manuscripts didn't have, uh, didn't have that uh, phrase at the end, um, it certainly fits. And so we're going to take a look at it. We're also going to spend a little bit of time in Mark chapter 10, uh, looking at two stories of, of people who, um, who saw in different ways. And so this is kind of where this prayer leads us to. It leads us to see uh, this world through the lens of, of, of what God has for us. And so uh, these two stories are, are uh, um, Stories that give insights as to where, uh, when we when we view the world and let Christ impact us, um, when we view the world in that way, we can't help but follow. And so we're going to be looking at uh, the rich young ruler or the rich young man um, and blind Bartimaeus. Both are in in Mark ten. So uh, you can have a have a read with there um, and uh, get familiar with those stories. And we'll take a look at those more on Sunday. I hope you all are well. Uh, have a great, strong finish to the week. Uh, we know some of you have been traveling off and on this summer, and so um, looking forward to connecting with those of you that are back this week. And uh, for those of you that are still traveling, uh, we, we wish you safe travels, and uh, we look forward to connecting with you when you, when you return. Um, as always, you can join us. We invite anyone um, to join us uh, at Olive on, on Sunday mornings at 930 uh, is when we start our services, uh, our service, and or you can join us online at any time. We live stream at, at 9.30. You can join us there at olivemc.org or find us on Facebook, like us, follow us, uh, and, and it'll pop up for you when, when we go live. Um, and uh, hope you all are well and have a wonderful week.